everyone, so today I will be doing a review about the American Girl Craft Kit, the knitting kit to make slippers, and I am actually know how to knit, so I'm kind of interested to see if it's easier or harder to knit, quotation marks guys, more like weaving, but if it's easier to knit with this or with actual knitting. So let's get started. So this is what the back of the box looks like. We have a doll modeling the slippers that you get to make for your doll. And that shows us the tools that we get. And this is from Kohl's. And it tells us what we get in the kit on the back. I'm pretty sure it does on the front. Or it just tells about it right here. But yeah. The needle and flexible. It's not like a hard plastic. And this is the hook type thing. And I'm not even showing it to you. But here's the hook, the needle. Get tools. This just comes off. Yarn is like a cotton. And we have instructions on the back. I'll give you some rainbows. It's actually really pretty. Oh, these are heavy. They're like a very heavy plastic. I was expecting like a light kind of, maybe not really flimsy, but like just light, but they're like really heavy. This one's purple. I don't know what the deal with the, this thing is but <laughs> and the this one has it too but this one's pink and it's way smaller it's like twice as small I have the stuff in here which from oh like so in here you get random cardboard great I'm not sure why there's cardboard maybe as like a form don't know I don't even know what it's called but it's like a fabric blue fabric you get these two things for the bottom of your slipper these are small actually these aren't gonna fit my feet. I'm like tens. Then the instructions. Yeah, I'll probably read these. Be back and see you later. Okay, so I have the yarn. I have the, all the tools, the pick thingy, the this thing, and I am doing the purple loom sock because I'm going to be doing the girls first. So, first I am going to actually open up this. Don't even get it at all, but. So, I'm going to be doing a loop knots and slip knots do not exist in knitting actually. I never learned to do a slip knot. Uh, and I figured out what these guys are. They're to put your slip knot on. And you pull tight. Here's the knitting, I think. But I guess it's all of what you're used to. So you have to basically skip one and go. Like knitting. This is like machine knitting. If you have ever heard of it, that's kind of like what it is, but with a loom. Be back when okay, I get so I did one round and now I'll be doing another round. Don't, just don't try it. There's like, you like have to stick your finger right where you're working, otherwise it'll just pop off. There's nothing to stop it. Either that, or I just don't have good tension. 
here. So, hook bottom layer of yarn up over pay. Where do I start? Do I start in star or off? Because I did it too tightly. There we go. I loosened it up so now I'm making sure I have a little thing like they do. So I'm going to be keeping. So I am going around to set another time to do it again, and I will be repeating this until I have 46 rows. 46 rows on here, and now we're going to figure out what we're going to do next. Turn the five spots and it hit. Okay, so now I am going to thread the needle that you guys can't see. There we go. Okay, so I have three more left and I and I just have to say there is more way to, more than one way to do it, and I just wish they would tell you that, but I'll get to that later. So, you definitely did not need 25 inches to do that, literally, guys. I know this is bad lighting, but so much yarn, so much. Okay, so now, now we are going to take our cardboard that we got that I did not know what was for. Then we're going to put it inside the sock. They just cut them out, guys. They just why? Why did they just cut them out? They did not see all the edges and so now they're just fraying. The edges are just frayed. And the same thing with the tool. With this stuff. It's just, it's a fraying mess. And if I did not show you this, they have like grip on the bottom. So yeah, so I'm going to read the instructions again and so I have started doing this and first off, it's, there's, guys, there's look, is very tightly knitted and even in the example that they give on the box, very tightly knitted, but mine did not get tightly knitted on another yarn from of this yarn, Lion Brands yarn, that craft yarn, and it's the same and it is, they are using the right stuff because this is like eight size needles, seven, eight ish, and they they suggest using eights, which for this project it's really weird. I'm going to make the other one off camera, just but and then I will be back to film the little doll one, and then I will be back in a part two to. Um, 
all kinds of t tests for this product. What is this? Is this is broken? Oh, in the. And I'm curious about the second one. Second one's fine. Th this one is broken. And so I just pierced the fabric close to the edge. And I'm continuing to whip it. Be back. So I am now filming on my phone because my camera decided to die to this part. So yeah. Oh, there are two. For me, insert lace and into the front mail of slipper. Oh wow, so descriptive. <laughs> So I'm so then I guess so I'm just going by the pictures it's like every inch <laughs> this is what I'm doing. And that is a huge piece. I didn't know. It's hard to like estimate an inch when it's not evenly even. You know? Because like some parts are more stretched out or not knitted as tightly as others. Kind of. It kind of is even, but at the same time, not. out to make it be in the front. At least that's where I would put it. They don't really say. So we are in the front and now we have this slipper. So I put on slippers because slippers to show you guys, but it's like stretched out not on purposefully though. Purpose though. I didn't mean to stretch it out, but they stretched out and you can see my socks through them. Um, so, yeah, no, get you back. not weave the ends through because they didn't tell me to, but I probably will in the future. So, they're not bad. Like, I think if they had different sizes for them, like, I wear number 10s. Wear tens, so if they had different sizes for the feet part, I think that would be better. Okay, so now we're going to make be making the doll slippers. So I guess it's the same process basically, but it's there. So yeah, they are assuming that you already know how to do it. Like, why? Maybe I wanted to do doll slippers first. And go on to a different one. So yeah, it's the same process. So, except you do 15 rows. So, yeah. I will do this. 15 rows and then I'll be done.
Why is this first one always tricky? I always have problems with it. It's annoying. And I feel like I'm gonna bend the metal. Literally. I'm not even going tight with this and it's giving me issues. And I'm annoyed with the issues. Dirty. Why? So I wonder how these are going to be. If they're going to be like the, but like how the adult slippers are, or kid slippers, you know, human slippers are, or if they're going to be different. So I'm and back and I've noticed something. So I've noticed that the yarn, the colors on the yarn is shorter. So there's only a little bit of purple and a little bit of white and a little bit of turquoise and yeah, it's not as long as the, as it used to be with the adult or human slippers. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, honestly. Like, it's okay, but I would think I would rather have it completely equal. Okay, Bye. so I've done everything that they have on here except the, this thing it, to tie it the toe closed up, you know, I did that wrong because I did what we did on the human slippers, but they decided to do something different, so it's wrong, but I don't really care, and I tried it on my doll, and it looks horrible, but I'll show you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I put the slippers on Julie, who... If you guys want to know all my dolls and what dolls I have, you can go click the eye up there or in the description box and I will put the video in one of those two places, probably both, just so you know, if you guys want to check that out. So I put them on Julie and they're very loose. Like, they're not bad, but they're not good either. I think if the yarn was thicker, it would work better, but they also don't have anything to cinch them up with, like the humans do, so I think they were, if they were cinched up, they would look better, but, yeah. So this is what they look like. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the pros and the cons. So, the first con is, it doesn't say anywhere on the box where the yarn wrap, the thing that goes around the yarn to tell you information about the brand, stuff like that. It doesn't say anywhere what type of yarn it is, so you can like go buy it and so that this kit just isn't sitting around your house because you can't use it. What I think it is, is acrylic, but if you don't really know what yarn what yarns work would work with there or anything, then you're not gonna be using the kit. Also, it needs better tools. The hook they give you isn't needs to be more of a crochet hook, I think. It, I think that would help with picking up the loops to have hacks slash tips on how to do some things because if you're a knitter or a crocheter or maybe even a sewer, you're going to know these things already, but if you aren't any of those things, you're not going to know all the little tips and tricks on how to do things with this kit, and if this kit had stuff, it would be very helpful and you can make, help you 
make things, make better things. So, yeah, some of the instructions steps seem to repeat a lot. Uh, it like it says one thing and then it's like continue. Like why don't you just have one thing that says repeat till the end or something? It up it tended to be very loose and I even try keeping a good tension on it and it's just really loose compared to if I would knit it up. It isn't that soft. It's very hard. Very it's like it's acrylic yarn so it's not gonna be soft. Yes, but I think if they had cotton yarn it would be very soft and very like you would wanna touch it and you wanna be comfortable in slip these slippers, right? It's, it's easy, pretty easy to open. There's not a whole lot of like ripping and trying to get up and you just need scissors and hands, of course. It's, you can do a, this for like a week or like, I think I did this three days. I had to, because I had to film it and that it took me three days. I couldn't just do it. Yarn coordinates with the Truly Me outfit. So if you have a Truly Me doll and you have that outfit, then the yarn coordinates with that. It, so you can use it with that outfit if you really want it. The looms were heavy duty plastic. They weren't flimsy. And they were like really good quality looms like what you would buy at the store. And to also to go along with that, there were indents in the looms which helped to take the looms off. Whether you were hooking them off to make the knitted thing or it or you were taking them off to sew them together it was very easy to do any of that and then you got to knit slippers for yourself and your doll if you're a kid that likes to dress like your doll then this kit is for you you get to make something and you also get to make it for yourself and your doll because what better thing is that? You and then comes with more yarn than you need to make two slipper human slippers and two doll slippers. And so you have lots of yarn so you can make multiple of each thing. So probably, I don't know. Definitely a lot of doll slippers. So there is an in wait, I already did that. Then things that we it ha if it had these things it would make it so much better. So if it had multiple barns balls of yarn in different colors it would be so you could choose what color of yarn you want your things to be. I think that would be pretty good. And then darning needle, the metal instead of plastic. It would like you don't need it to be metal, but I think it would be nicer if it were. And then tips and tricks guide, like I mentioned above, that. It would help if instructions were colored. I think that would just look better instead of just black and white. So, yeah. So, that is everything. Also, everything. Um, yep. Yeah, okay, so I don't have the actual kit, but the kit that I did find that's similar is the American Girl Infinity Scarf Knitting Kit and it is on sale at Kohl's right now for $13.59 but it's regular price there is $16.99 and the reason why I chose Kohl's is because that is what I saw on my box my kit it does not have the price but because it was ripped off 
but it does have coals on there so that's why I was looking there but it is the same thing practically the same example it just one's a scarf and this one is slippers so yeah